Hey everyone, it's Cygnus, and welcome back to All the Magic. So, I've done a little bit since the last episode, because we did end up taking a little bit of time off, just because, well, I ended up getting busy again, and, well, now we have time off. Well, hello, get rid of him. So, in between finishing up Create and now, I've actually done a bit more work. So, nothing too major, just a few small steps. So, I am a lot stronger than I actually thought that I was, and I also have a lot- hello. I have a lot more progress done than I actually knew. So, I spent a little bit of time collecting nether stars. Yes, nether stars. And you're probably wondering, well, you have 38 wither skeleton skulls, how'd you get those? Very simply. I have a wither spawner. Yep, it spawns wither. And drops wither spawn eggs, wither bones, everything I need to farm uh, the wither. Now, you're probably thinking, well, how'd you get that? Well, I managed to get capturing on my sword. Capturing is a pretty powerful enchantment that allows you to effectively, any mob that you kill, actually, I need to be downstairs for this, has a very high chance, or reasonably high chance, of dropping its egg. So, I have, like, here, a beast werewolf, one of those uh, werewolf that runs around on four legs, I have some slime, spawn eggs, skeletons, silverfish, sheep, magma cubes, spiders. Basically, any mob that has a spawn egg has a chance of dropping it. And that is basically every single mob. Now, this doesn't mean that I can farm every single mob right away, as many of these mobs actually have spawn conditions that prevent me from farming them. Now, of course, with spawners, I can turn off spawn conditions. However, I need a dragon egg, and at this point in time, I don't know where mine is. I've lost it entirely. Now, what I have found in the end is the end city. I actually found two of them. Uh, let me see if I have it. Yeah, I have one of them right here. I don't think that's the one that I want. Uh, that's supposed to say swamp, but I did find an end city, and I also found an end ship, which means I have an elytra. And there's honestly not a lot I can do with this, considering I can just fly. But it's it's neat, because I can also do this, I guess, which is cool. Always like doing this. This is fun. It doesn't mean much, though, when I can literally just fly, and also I much prefer having insane amounts of health and protection. But we do have that, and there's some things we'll, we'll be doing with it later. Just not right this minute, there's no need. Now, in addition to that, that also means that at the end of the end ship, I found the dragon head, which I have somewhere. I think it's in the end stuff, yeah, dragon head. So the dragon head I can actually use to make a dragon egg. Let me pull up the dragon egg, hello. So I can use this to make the dragon egg by getting dragon scales, and dragon scales can be used, I believe, in some recipe somewhere to make the dragon egg. I believe it's mystical agriculture that lets me do it. So I can make it using a few different options. Uh, Wither bee can apparently duplicate it, but I can get it from dragon egg chunks, which are made from dragon egg essence, made from dragon egg seeds. The seeds are made from four dragon scales and insanium essence. I have the dragon scales. Actually, now that I think of it, yeah, I have 16 of the, the dragon scale, so we just have to do that, and we'll be able to get more eggs, which we can use to make our spawners better, meaning we'll be able to farm things that aren't so easily farmed, like iron golems and piglin, which, for some reason, the spawners for just don't work. Now, I've rambled a lot, but that's not what we're doing today. Today, we're finally going to get our storage system set up, because we need a much better storage system than a wall of this because I'm starting to fill these up very fast. I've actually had to go through a lot of them and just dump everything out because I had too much of everything. Now with the storage system I'm going to be setting up using occultism, we will be able to have much, much higher storage and it's going to be organized because it's going to function like the storage systems in applied energistics, which is just a lot more fun, or AE, as a lot of people know it. Essentially, that's what we're doing today. And unfortunately, this does mean there's going to be a bit of jumping around, because rituals, these are 
confusing and complicated and kind of a pain. But I want to get the storage situation sorted because we're not going to be able to make a lot of progress with some of the mods until we get that done. And I did have someone suggest putting pressure pads here. However, I kind of don't want to do that just because monsters. I always have such bad luck if I do that, even though I leave the doors open quite a lot. Uh, and I'll, I'll be handling a different method of keeping the house safe using interdiction torches later. I believe they're called that. Yeah, interdiction torches like this or the ones from uh, Project E, which I can actually make with that, which just prevents hostile mobs from getting near. So I don't even need a door, which is actually quite convenient. Also, I've been making cheeseburgers because, well, why not? I have the plenty of food and resources to do so. So I was cooking that. But let's go ahead and get started. So for us to do the storage thing, we're going to need to make a few things first. First and foremost, of course, being the actual storage actuator base, which is the cent central component to the structure. And we'll also need to make something called a dimensional crystal ma matrix, which is made of any block of quartz. We're not worried about that. And we'll also need to make a couple different books of binding. You can see all the ones we need to make here. And then we'll have to climb through the tiers of storage stabilizers. Now, we do end up making multiple of these storage stabilizers because each one improves the storage capacity and we can arrange them in sort of a network array that will allow us to have insane amounts of organized and navigatable storage in a very relatively compact place. Definitely a lot smaller than the amount of chests it would take to fill that area and definitely more organized than this, which will be coming down once our storage is done and it will be replaced with the structure or the system that we're going to be building. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So first things first, we need to get started with this, which needs a special ritual. So let's grab our ritual book and go ahead and get started prepping that. Now, like I said, there's gonna be a lot of jumping around, but hopefully it'll be fine. And we're gonna need our chalks, probably some candles. I think we have more stuff in there. Let's grab that. And I think it's gonna be all we need for now. We'll grab our sacrificial bowls just in case. And we're going to need books and quills. And I believe a couple different flavors of ink. Uh, dye, purified ink. Yeah, we're gonna to need to make more purified ink, which is fine. Let's grab those and we have purified ink. We'll make more. And to make more, we'll get our demon dream fruit to burn. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the first thing done, which for this is going to be making the Book of Binding folio, which pretty easy to make. We'll do that real quick and I'll arrange this for the appropriate ritual. So I will be back in just a moment. All right, and we are back with a finished ritual. So for this, we just need to make a other stone pedestal, super easy to make. And we need some gold to place around this, which I believe we can just place in any of these arrangements. Okay, so let's go grab that gold and the other stone we need to make the actual pedestal itself. So I think we just need some of that. We do a little bit of this and there we go. Drop that and put that into our inventory. And then we'll grab the gold, just a bit of it. And put that in our inventory, that in our inventory. And then we arrange it. Just do some of this. Put that there and then the last thing we got to do is put the book of binding in the middle so now we're making a storage actuator base this is our first step we'll be back in just a minute when it's done all right and there's our storage actuator base this is the core component then we need to make a actual dimensional crystal matrix this is used to actually bind together the system and create the uh, storage matrix that we're going to be using this is made with a book of binding Jenny and Ender Pearl and some blocks of quartz, which coincidentally I just went ahead and made the book, the blocks of quartz, and an Ender Pearl isn't too hard to get. Just got to make sure we turn this off. And mob drops. And we got a couple Ender Pearls. I can always get more if I need it. Now we just need to make sure we have the ritual. So let's go ahead and grab the correct ritual. That's going to be Strigior's Higher Binding. So we can go in here, grab this. Strigor's higher binding, we'll visualize it. Oh, 
didn't visualize it. There we go. I always break this in the middle so I can place it. And just like that, ritual's made. Let's put everything in its place. And that's all we'll need to do. The matrix is very easy to make. And we, we had started this before, but we ended up not completing this whole process because I got distracted. But we will be back in just a second while this goes, and I'll be getting some stuff ready to move on to the next steps. This is going to get complicated really fast. All right, so the matrix is made. This is the, the dimensional crystal matrix. So we'll come over here. So this works very simply. We just put these together and just like that, we have a dimensional storage actuator. We put that in the middle and here is our storage. Right now, it's very lacking. Obviously, there's not going to be anything really going on in the storage system. I think we only have 128 spaces. That's not a lot. We're going to be expanding that by adding different tiers of dimensional storage stabilizers. But before we do that, we're gonna make a funky little item that I've already started prepping called a storage accessor. This lets us access our storage network remotely without actually having to be near it. And it's made very simply, just two ender pearls, inert storage accessor, and a nether quartz, and of course a book of binding with Jenny. Now, this is very easy to make. Other stone tablets aren't complicated. Stone buttons and gold we have in excess. And coincidentally, this is the same ritual. So we'll just slap these down real fast. And I think it's the same ritual. If not, this is going to be a little embarrassing. And then we just need the storage actuator and the book. Now, these rituals are phenomenally slow. So we're going to let this go and we're going to start prepping some other things. So we're going to need to make more other stone pedestals and more Book of Binding Folio. Now, if we want to do this perfectly, we're going to need four. And we're going to need four at the maximum tier, the tier four dimensional stabilizers, which is very expensive to make, as you can probably see, and requires a dragon head. So we're just going to be going up to tier three. And that's why I got all of the nether stars that we have here. Now, while this goes, let's go ahead and get some other stuff prepared. So for us to start with it, we're going to need to make four of this. And this is using our spectral compulsion ritual that we set up earlier. So let's go ahead and get some spirit attuned gems, prep our blaze powder, and make four book of binding folio. So we're going to actually need to make more book and quills. This is where occultism gets expensive fast, but fortunately, we are astoundingly wealthy, so nothing to worry about there. Let's burn this up. All of our diamonds are gone. There we go. I say all of our diamonds. We have 57 stacks of blocks, or 57 blocks of diamond. Not 57 stacks, though eventually we might. Then we also need copper blocks. Not too hard to get. Not too concerning. There we go. Seven should be fine. We only really need four. And we're going to need to make more other stone pedestals, so let's get a couple of these and make those pedestals. Oh, perfect. We can get four. And that's everything, and we just need the blaze powder, and we're good. Plenty of blaze powder. And, of course... Oh, right, we also need to make the books. Books, books. Everyone loves the books. And that's... Four of them for now, but we're actually going to need four, eight, twelve books in total. So, let's get to work. Okay, and we are almost done making all of these books. A lot of books to make, but we're going to go check on this. Looks like it's done. So now we have this, and we can bind it to this, but we're not going to bind it to this just yet, because this isn't where it's going to be. It's going to be back there behind our little storage wall which i don't believe there's anything back there except yeah i think it's just dirt back here so we can expand this out and make this our little storage area yeah this, oh hello it's a little shallow we'll uh we'll fix that but for now we can go ahead and get started with making each of these storage stabilizers to get them doing what we want to do 
and we will make the space back here in a little bit. I'll probably do that while things are processing. So yeah, let's get started. It's going to be a long process. Oh, and these rituals are complicated. All right, so the ritual has begun and now it's time to go and clear out this space back here and figure out how we're going to make our little storage zone. And let's go ahead and move our matrix into here and put it where we want it to be. So dimensional storage actuator. So it's going to be one. I am a menace to myself. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. That should be the center. There we go. And each one is going to go on a other stone pedestal set here, 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 and here. And they're going to face inward at this thing. And that's going to be our storage system. So I might actually do a something kind of fancy with this, but I'm going to think about it while we go. All right, so we built up a little bit of a structure, but we can head outside and take a look at it from above. It's pretty simple, nothing too complicated, uh, just some windows because I do like being able to see. And we move the beacon on top of it to give it some purpose on the roof other than just existing. Also, the beacon just sitting here kind of looked ugly. And if we ever need to, we can expand the beacon downward and make it bigger and fancier. But for now, we need to get this storage system even more upgraded. So we're going to have to move on to the next tier of the dimensional storage stabilizers, which right now it has 1,152 storage spots. And you can see when we put stuff in there, it only takes one spot per item. That means we can absolutely load this thing up with a lot of things. And we're not going to have to worry about it. And then we can just search for anything that we need. So let's go ahead and get these upgraded and we'll move up to tier two and then hopefully we'll be able to get tier three before the end of this video. Kind of going to speed run this. So when you see me next, we're going to have these at tier two and then together we're going to get them to tier three because, well, tier three. Tier three is a bit tougher because it requires the permanent confinement spell, which we have the aphid for, but it's just a much more complicated ritual if I recall correctly. Let me double check. And it's also just going to take forever. These are not fast. Let me see. Permanent confinement. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Why? Why is it so complicated? Anyways, I will be right back. Okay, I'll be honest. This took about 30 minutes just to get the tier 2. So the tier 3s are going to take even longer. But... We have gotten the storage system system started. We're moving items over. You can see here we have a good amount of things going on. Let's actually grab our hamburgers. I need those. But we're moving stuff over and we have three of them going right now. And we will start adding the tier threes as we go. So to make the tier threes, we need the special. We need the ritual that's right here. Severa's permanent confinement. Severus Permanent Confinement is a difficult spell, and as you can see, we can actually access this by default by pressing in while our actuator is in our hand or inventory. So I have it currently in my hand, but the storage accessor, all we have to do is bind it to the storage network by holding shift and right clicking. And once it's bound, you can press in and there it is. That's our inventory. We pretty much don't even need a backpack anymore, but let's go ahead and open this up. I was clicking through it, checking some other things. So we're going to need Severa's Permanent Confinement. And this spell, this spell is annoying. It's big, it's unwieldy, and I don't like it. Looking for any signs that this is incomplete. I think it's just the sacrificial bowl. Okay, and then for this, we need to place a couple of items. So let's grab our gold. We're going to need some gold blocks and we're going to need our nether stars and we have the spiritually attuned crystals so let's get that and nether we don't have that in our inventory so let's go over here grab our nether stars easy as that i think that's it and just the stabilizers that and of course the books which we can just have in our hot bar like that so this is going to take a little while so oh wait 
Oh, I need bowls. I forgot to put the bowls. There, that that should work. Uh, do, do, let's actually make sure this works before I say that. Um, and crystal. There. Yes. Okay, that works. Okay. Uh, yeah. Next time you see me, this is going to be done. But in the next episode, we're going to be getting started with a mod that's been pretty highly requested. Turtle Mancy. Yeah, we're going to mess with turtles. It's about time. I have a barrel up there. Well, we're going to be getting started with Turtle Mancy and the things that that brings because I want to get into generating some funky resources and Turtle Mancy lets me do that, as well as resourceful bees, which we'll also be getting into very soon because mystical agriculture, while it is fun and I'm very lazy with it, as you can see, it's not going to get us everything we need and not at the rate that we need it. So the best way to do that, Turtle Mancy and bees. But until then, I will see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.